Hello and thanks for watching. Today we're going to review the Enduro AKB2 tripod. First thing you'll notice about this tripod is that it's extremely light, but don't let that fool you. It's very solid. It has grooved legs for added stability when they're extended. It has angled rubber feet with grips on the bottom. No spikes here. So this is great for indoor or outdoor use. The leg height can be adjusted using these heavy duty plastic flip locks. And one leg features a foam grip for easy comfortable carrying. The leg angle can be adjusted independently using these snap locks. Simply pull the snap lock out, change the position to one of three presets, re-engage the snap lock and you're ready to go. The AKB2 will go move up to 57 inches with the center post down and 66 inches with it extended. The Spider is magnesium alloy, very light, very tough. We have a large thumb screw for adjusting the height of the center post. The center post is also grooved so it will not move around in the socket. The bubble level included on the spider is a lot more accurate than most that I've used. And on another side, we have handy handy strap hooks so you can attach the included strap. The head itself is very smooth and uses a single thumb screw for locking it into place. It's rated for 18 and a half pounds, so you can put some pretty substantial weight up here with no worries. It uses a quick release plate with a really nice uh, locking mechanism. It has a double trigger design, will not let you unlock it accidentally without depressing a second trigger. Once you open it, it stays unlocked until you replace the plate, which on the bottom of the camera. Which, by the way, you can do one handed now, and it locks back into place and it's good to go again. This guy will not come loose without that, put it back in place. Okay. Last, uh, feature on the head. It allows for movement to portrait position on both sides without interference from the head or the base. Now this is going to depend on your camera. Uh, both my cannons I'm able to move around freely with no interference. The last feature I want to touch on is the center post itself. Now at the bottom we have a uh, spring-loaded counterweight hook for adding additional weight in windy or unstable conditions. You can remove this guy and remove the center post completely. Reinsert it from the bottom. Lock it down and achieve some very low angles and perspectives. Now to me this doubles the usability of the tripod and allows you to get as low as your camera body will allow. I am extremely happy with this tripod and would highly recommend it to anybody looking for a good sturdy tripod in the sub $500 range. Now I opted for the aluminum body which shipped for just under $200. It also comes in carbon fiber which is available for just under $400. You can check out the entire Enduro line from Amazon or B&H Photo Video using the links in the post at kirkplaner.com. Again, thanks for watching and happy shooting.